It's here! Camtasia 202020. Whoops, too many 20s. It's here! Camtasia 2022. In this video, I'm going to be going over the new features, what I think of the new features, and my opinion on if you should upgrade to the new latest version. Hey everyone, my name is Joel Tolentino from Esatino Media. On this YouTube channel, we show you how to create profitable content. So I have been using Camtasia since 2010. I started out on Camtasia version 6 or 7, and it is how I have edited probably 98% of our YouTube videos, our course lecture videos, my clients' videos. I use Camtasia pretty much on a daily basis. So let's answer the question here, what are the new features in Camtasia 2022? I'm here on the techsmith.com website and they have a page here showing you some different things. Some of the new features they have, I noticed that they did a more of a feature on the cursor effects and the mouse. They really focused on that. Every year when they release a new version, they focus on different aspects of improving the software, the editing software. And this year for 2022 version, they have been focusing on the cursor effects and mouse. So if you do tutorial videos, this is going to be useful for you. If you don't do tutorial videos and you don't record on the screen, this is likely not going to impact you. So you can see here in the example, they're showing that you can really enlarge the mouse so that it's not pixelated anymore. In the previous versions, if you enlarge the mouse, it became pixelated, but now you can make it really huge and it will be, you know, sharp quality. That was before and this is now. You can see the, the difference. They've also added in-depth cursor path editing. This is when you are moving the mouse on the screen, like if you can't get it smooth, you can actually edit it and have it move to where you want. You can see here in the example. Personally, I don't use this and I just move the mouse myself and I'm not really too worried about, oh, if I moved it correctly or not. Generally speaking for me, even though I do do tutorial videos and I do course lecture videos and things like that. This stuff isn't really as appealing to me. It might be to you if you really enjoy, you know, manufacturing and editing the movement of your mouse. But for me, I would just rather move the mouse myself because I feel like it's going to take a really long time if I have to manually place movement on the mouse versus me just actually moving the mouse. It probably looks more smoother and more professional when you use the cur cursor path editing. But for me and my tutorial channel, it's all about volume, so I've got to be able to pump out three tutorials a week. Next here, they talk about how it's easier to export it to this program called Audiate. If you don't have that, then this isn't going to apply to you. I don't have it myself, so this feature doesn't apply to me right now at this moment. Now, another thing that they really added in was a bunch of more media and digital assets. You'll see when I show you in the libraries, it's crazy. They've added way more stuff than ever before. So you can see here, you've got a blending mode. They have a spotlight effect and an outline edges, which probably makes you look like a cartoon. So that can be cool for like an abstract thing. And lastly, it looks like the exporting when you are rendering a video has changed a little bit and they're saying that they've simplified the exporting process. So I will be doing tutorial videos on all these stuff here, separate ones. This is just an overview video. So stay tuned for that because I'll be doing videos on those. So let's head into Camtasia 2022 and see it for ourselves. So right away when you click on Camtasia 2022, it's going to look a little bit different. They've added some stuff here. They've added a learn tab and resources tab. Your recent projects will be here. If you click on templates, they've got some templates here that you can start off with. So let's click on new project. Okay, so we're here in Camtasia 2022 and for the most part it looks 
pretty much the same. How you'll know if you're in Camtasia 2022 is if you head over to the library and you can see that they have a folder called Camtasia 2022 and you'll see all this new stuff. They really added a lot of digital media in here and we'll go through that in a second. And you see if I head down to the cursor effects, you'll see that before they only had cursor smoothing but now they have the cursor path creator. So if you want to be really specific with how your mouse is visually moving on the screen, this is what you would use. If we head over to the more tab, head over to visual effects, you can see that they have the blend mode here. I'll be testing this out in future tutorial videos. The cursor path is also here. The outline edges feature is here and the spotlight effect is also here. So let's head back over to the library because there really is a lot of stuff that they've added in. Now it might seem overwhelming because it really is a lot. So if I go into, let's say, the audio tab, there's a bunch of new music. I don't typically use audio from Camtasia. I have my own audio. I use artlist.io. Next is the callouts and within callouts you'll see that there are counters, indicator text, indicators, indicators with divider. In my opinion for the library I think that they added too much. It's almost like people are going to get overwhelmed and not know what to use because they're going to have so many choices. So if I click on counters here you'll see all these different kind of counters. And then if you go to indicator text, it opens up even more stuff and you DIY examples and there's even more stuff in here. And if you go to title reveal, there's even more in here. So there is a huge abundance of digital media. Now to not get completely overwhelmed and bombarded by everything, what I'm going to do and what I suggest you guys do is Take an hour or two and just go through everything in the library and pick out some of your favorite stuff that you would want to use. So let's say this countdown here. Let's say I want this countdown frames. And I, I'm thinking I'm going to use this over and over again. This would be good for my videos. And I would customize it the way I like it. So let's say I change it to a purple, right? I like it. And then what I would do is I would right click on it and I would add this to my personal library. It would be Esatino Assets and I would be like, name it however you want, click OK. And then that would be added to my personal library so I wouldn't have to go through all the stuff in the Camtasia 2022 library because you, know, you could get lost in there for sure. So then when I need it, then I just drag it down. And it's like, boom, it's ready to go, already customized to the way I like it. So I'm just going to head back to the library here. And what you want to do is go through all this stuff and do that. Now I'll quickly show you some of the other stuff that they have. This one's cool, Channel Kit. So if you have a YouTube channel, which most of you do if you're editing in Camtasia, they have these cool subscribe things. So if I click on them, it says subscribe tutorials every week and obviously you can customize these right if you drag them down here. You can see here you can change this. I would change this to purple because that's our color. More of a darker purple. There you go. Change the name to... Actually it looked good in capitals. Let's see here. Esatino Media. And then I would say something like our tagline, which is create profitable content. Let's see what that looks like. Something like that. I'd have to play around with it, but you can see how I can customize it. And then when I'm done customizing it and I know I want to use it over and over again to save time, I would just right click on it and then add it to my library and add it to my personal library. So that's the channel kit. Those, those are some cool animations. They've got some cool stuff in here. I like it. I will probably use some of them. Cursor animations. They really went in on the cursor. They really, really did. And there's like a lot of stuff in here. They have all these different kinds of clicks. You know, if you want a click and it do like a 
like a triangles thing, you can have it do that as well. So you can go through those and the hand as well. So you can also have different types of uh, the hands here, this thing. You can have it do different things. Like I said, I'm not as into the cursor effects, but if you use it, definitely it's going to be good for you guys. So there's more cursor stuff that you can go to. And then they've got here emphasis effects. So burst and collapses. And you can go through here. You can see I would probably use one of these purple, right? It's already in my color. I would probably save that if, you know, I wanted to call attention to something on the screen, have that cool animation come up. You can go through these here. Bursts and collapses. They have more click gestures. They're similar but different movements. And isolation and targeting. So here, I'll show this one, this green one here. You can see it does like a scope effect. So like they're they're really cool. You just need to spend some time going through them and see which ones that you would actually use for your content. And then here they've got expressive animations. And these are like the drawing of the, the circle. So you can see here they've got this hand and it looks like it, you know, made uh, a circular drawing. There's this one here, a pencil line. So if you wanted something to be outlined, different kinds here. There's an X different lines, thickness, arrows, check marks. Next here, fills and overlays. These are interesting. They've given you a lot of gradients. So instead of having to create your own gradient background, you can have it done for you. So if you drag one of these, you can see that it creates already the gradient for you, which is cool. And you can alter the gradient color as well if it's not your style of colors. So I thought that was that was a cool one to add in that I wasn't expecting that. And they have here duo tone gradients. So these can be really funky and you can also change these ones as well. Multicolor gradients. This is getting a little too wild for the color kind of color schemes I would use. They have some neon motion which I think is cool as well. You know, could have this going on. Obviously, I'm going to be going through and choosing all the purple ones as you can already tell. And they have here washes. Probably I like the other ones. Next is icons and glyphs. So they have more icons already ready to go. All right, next is structures. So they have this thing called Motor City, which I thought was really interesting. And this, it like grows into this like sort of cityscape and you can, I think you can change the colors on it which is pretty cool. So that can be something if it goes with the theme of your videos. And then tiles. Tiles is, uh, you know, when you have like your name or the channel name come up on the screen here. Here, I'll show you one as an example. This one's called Boxy Banner Wipe, right? So you can have, you can put anything, title of the video, your name, and then here, UI kit. So, so they have some interesting stuff here, you know, like if you wanted to use a toggle on or toggle off, like if you're doing cell phone tutorials, this is interesting, right? And this one I probably will use this uh, typing thing here, like when you pretend like you're going on Google or something. That's cool. They also have this one here. So there's definitely some cool ones that I am going to use and customize and stuff. So those are pretty much the main features in Camtasia 2022. Do I think that you should upgrade? Yes and no. So I have answers for both here. If you have the yearly maintenance package of Camtasia, you automatically get the new version, not for free because you do pay a yearly maintenance. So you are technically paying for it, but just not the full price of it. I can't remember what the cost is of the yearly maintenance, but we have it. And because I'm constantly editing in Camtasia, I always want the, the latest and greatest version. If you don't have this yearly maintenance package and you have like a 2021 version, you know, based on the video I've done here, you'd have to decide for yourself if these features are worth getting the new version. If you don't do tutorial videos, it's probably not gonna be worth it for you. 
If you have an older version like 2020 or 2019, I would say definitely upgrade because those versions are older. And I would say to go from 2019 or even 2020 to this version, 2022, would be a great upgrade for you. But at the end of the day, I think you should have the yearly maintenance package if you have been using Camtasia for a couple of years now. Also, just be aware that whenever there's a new version of anything, there's always going to be initial glitches and initial things to, to fix and to work out. It usually happens with any product or software, you know, when there's a new update or something. So even though I do have the new upgraded Camtasia 2022, I'm actually still editing in the 2021 version until they work out all the kinks and the glitches in the 2022 version. So I usually wait like about a month or so so that it starts running smoothly. And that's been sort of the best experience I've had thus far. So those are my thoughts on the new Camtasia 2022. Like I said, I've been using Camtasia since 2010, so 12 years now. And it's how I edit our YouTube channel videos, my clients' videos, and my course lecture videos. If you found this review helpful, please let me know by hitting the thumbs up button. That would be greatly appreciated. And I'll see you in the next video.